hi guys welcome to my channel so if you are on board yet or not one thing for certain is that robot vacuum cleaners are here to stay and i have jumped on board and trust me once you get onto it there's no looking back i here have the trifo emma robotic vacuum and mop and this is also their pet version in this video let's unbox it check out all the accessories it comes with test out all of its features and see how it performs in typical households with tile flooring, carpets, rugs and every other thing which we leave on the floor because we can't be bothered to tidy up all the time, right? So all that is coming your way along with amazing discount code on the Emma. So let's get started. First thing, the packaging is simply amazing. It kind of gives you that reassurance when you see packaging like this, especially after you spent your hard-earned cash on a product and Trifo here absolutely nailed it. As soon as you open the lid, you're greeted with this clean, minimal look and the manual. Under the top lid, you have the warranty card and the Emma is right there. I actually love their naming scheme. Their robotic vacuums are called Lucy, Max, Emma, and Ollie. How cool is that? Next onto the robotic vacuum. It has got nice heft to it. Let's take it out of the wrapper and you can see it's got this nice metallic finish on the top with branding, power and home buttons. And turning it over, you can see the wheels, sensors, and the main cleaning rotary brush. The buttons on the top feel nice and clicky. So let's put that aside. Inside the box, we have the mop attachment. We will see how this works in a moment. Then we also have the cloth attachments to the mop. And you have two sticky Velcro pad things. On the top, you have the base first. It's very sleek and light. Then the remaining part, you've got the power adapter. And finally, the middle box has got the attachment for vacuuming pet hair. Seriously, I cannot stress enough how amazing the unboxing experience has been. Try for you, really, really nailed it. So here's everything you get in the box. Now let's take a closer look at Emma. First, it says to peel off this bumper. And here we go. The lid on the top just pops open like this and inside you have the bin. You can just push this button and off the bin pops out. This is a decent size and it's got the filter to one side. The capacity of the bin is 600 ml, so pretty decent size you get here. Now, inside you also have a reset button and Wi-Fi indicator. And then the home and power button is on the top. Now, turning it over, you have the rotary wheels and the primary wheel. Let's look at the mop attachment. The side rubber holder opens and this is where you put the water in and then the attachment sticks to the bottom via these Velcro strips. And you can put the cloth attachment to it again via Velcro strips. And that's how the robotic vacuum turns into a mop as well. Now, you can also change the main rotary unit and slot in the add-on which you get. And this is the pet mode, perfect to suck the hair off your carpets and floors. Now, let's set this up. The base has got a lid which actually slots open and in here we have the power socket. Just plug in the included adapter and it's got nice cable management so you can wrap the cable as needed and close it shut. So it stays nice and secure out of the way. Now let's put Emma on top of the base and there you go. You get a welcome sound along with the voice saying it's charging. So this RoboVac has got a built-in speaker as well and it will speak to you. Whilst she is charging, let's download the app. You can just scan the QR code in the manual and it takes you to the right place. You download and install the app. Installation was pretty straightforward. You follow the instructions and it's all set. You can also hook it up to Alexa via the Alexa app and use that to control Emma. Let's turn it on. And this is the first run. You can listen how loud it gets. I say it's not too bad and certainly not as loud as a cordless vacuum. 
Now our downstairs is a mix of carpets and tile floors. We also have a slightly thick rug and Emma has no issues getting over it. It's not hesitating even for a second and it has no issues maneuvering it. And as you can see, it's got over the metal leg of our sofas without any issue as well. Few more things which I wanted to notice based on my previous experience with the Robovac I already have. First, that rotary blade is screwed to a base so it doesn't pop off easily. That's really handy, especially when it goes on to carpets and rugs. Next, Emma certainly did a better job at cleaning the edges compared to my other Robo vacuum cleaner. It also had no issues maneuvering tricky spots like underneath our dining table with chairs slotted into place. It went inside the crazy maze created by the metal legs of our dining chairs and came out without any issues. Even tricky spots like this one where the bumper almost got stuck, it had no issues getting itself out. Now, let's check the controls which the app provides. Obviously, you can send it home and it has no issues finding where the charging base is and it so coolly reverses back into position. Charging. You can control the suction power and it has several steps for increasing and decreasing the power. This is the complete max setting and here's how loud it gets. This Robovac has got 4000 PA suction power. That's more than twice what my other Robovac has. Also check this, the app shows the mapping area which the Robovacuum has mapped and this is pretty cool. So you can actually see the entire area of how the mapping is going on via this Robovacuum. The app also shows battery percentage and it allows manual control as well, so you can maneuver the vacuum cleaner yourself if needed. Besides this, the app also has settings for voice, where you can lower increase the volume of the speaker or even mute it altogether. You can also set schedules for cleaning, selecting time and days or even set it on quiet mode if you want to do it whilst you are sleeping. The cleaning history section shows a record of the area, time and the date of your cleaning session. There is also a maintenance section which gives you the rough lifespan of the brushes and the filter. And Find My Robot is super useful functionality as tapping on it makes Emma talk, making it easy for you to locate if it got stuck or hidden underneath sofas or your furniture. I'm here. I'm here. And then you have a section for software updates which keeps Emma up to date. Now let's take it upstairs where we have full on carpet and obviously stairs. So let's see how it performs there. Right away, the edge detection works perfectly and Emma just stops off the edge of the staircase and moves away without falling over. Let's see how it performs in more tricky places like these. And as you can see, it has no problems getting over it. Especially the small little raised bit which I have on the cupboard, it gets on top of that and I almost felt that it got stuck, but it did not. It just got itself out of that tricky place. Here we have a thicker rug and you can see that Emma again has no issues maneuvering it. And look at the edge cleaning. My daughter says she purposely made her room look like this so we can test out the new Robo vacuum cleaning. However, I doubt that. But as you can see, it is picking everything up, even from the corners. It really did an amazing job at cleaning the carpets. And then here's the bin. It's been a week since we vacuumed our house and this is how much dirt it picked up. And it is pretty easy to just open the lid and dump it out and slot it back in. Also, when Emma gets stuck, it conveyed that through the speakers and also sent my phone a notification. And the reason why it got stuck is that there were some loose threads lying on the floor and that got tangled in this rotary sweeping brush. Now let's try out the mop feature. So you fill water in into the mop attachment through this hole by removing the rubber cap. Then you stick it to the vacuum cleaner and then you stick the cloth attachment via the velcro strips and it is good to go. And this is how it is mopping the floor. It's really doing a pretty decent job and it is reaching every nook and corner. Try for recommends to change the water every 20 minutes to get that perfect shiny floor. So conclusion, 
We have run the vacuum a few times till now and here's what we have noticed. The vacuum cleaner is really good and certainly did a better job cleaning corners than my previous one. The battery capacity is pretty good as well and it offered close to the claimed 110 minutes on medium suction settings. The intensive suction setting is amazing as well if you want a thorough deeper clean. Mop functionality is absolutely brilliant and very easy to set up and use. Perfect if you have tile flooring like we do. The mapping system is well defined and clever as well and it shows what it's mapped so you can actually see every place that your robo vacuum has got to. The cleaning path is 9 inches which is pretty wide and it should cover more area within single runs. Now are there any downsides? Well there are just a few but nothing that would deter me from highly recommending MR Robotic Vacuum Cleaner to everyone. First, an included remote would be good as you don't have to rely on the app all the time. Second, it would be good to have something where we can mark areas off so it will not vacuum those places. For instance, we have a mixture of floor and carpet downstairs like I mentioned and it would be good to make the carpet off limits when it's using the mop functionality. At the moment, we are having to block it off by using some sturdy obstacle to stop it going from certain areas. Besides this, I absolutely have no issues whatsoever and this here is one strong, capable and clever robotic vacuum cleaner. All the links are in the description box below along with an offer code which works on top of the existing discount making it an amazing bargain. So please do check them out. So that's it for the video guys. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below and I'll try to answer all of them. And whilst you're there guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and the subscribe button is just a few pixels away. Please subscribe, show support to my channel and I'll keep making videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.